The Hereditary Neuropathy Foundation presents The First Step, Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease. Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease. I took those initials and I looked at it as crushing my triumphs. And it was very difficult. And for many, many years, I just sat and did and They weren't really quite sure uh, what was going on. They knew something wasn't right. They knew he didn't have any reflexes and he, he didn't walk right. He had a toe walk and a strange gait. And really his uh, My hands are very weak. I have difficulty getting the kids dressed, unbuttoning shirts, buttoning shirts, snapping, zippering pants. I've had thoughts of suicide when I was in high school a lot. And uh, I never told anybody for like years and then finally. I'm very fearful for Michael's future um, for many, many reasons, but primarily because it is a progressive disease. There is no cure. And I, I wonder where he uh, Every prom was difficult, you know, for her, for me, for her friends. And, um, you know, you, we did the best. Everything I read up on on TMT, I would say I have probably 90% of the symptoms. Um, pretty much everything, I mean, even my hands. And then they say some people, not a lot, have hip dysplasia because of it, and I have that. I went to a neurologist, and it's in my quads, and I, it's just, it's all over. I think I've got it pretty bad. Experts believe that more than 500,000 people of all ages in the United States suffer from Charcot-Marie Tooth disease. Charcot-Marie Tooth is a hereditary neuropathy. Hereditary because it can be passed on from generation to generation. Neuropathy because it affects the nerves. Uh, it's both a motor and sensory neuropathy in that it affects the way that people feel and the way that they can move the muscles in their legs and the rest of their body. CMT is a progressive disease. It causes deterioration of the peripheral nerves, resulting in the loss of sensation and function of the feet, legs, hands, and arms. Living with CMT has been extremely challenging for me. I was a vibrant young woman. I skied, I ran, I loved to swim in the ocean. I walked one way at least to work, which was 50 blocks every single day. And all of a sudden to have that all taken away from you was really a difficult thing to accept. A certain aspect of uh, their self-esteem is taking, you know, it takes a serious body blow every time we have to go to uh, you know, a social event, and that's, and that's difficult for me as a husband to, to, to watch. I was about six or nine when I got the diagnosis of CMT. I had problems when I was a kid. I always felt like an outcast. I didn't want to walk with a cane in high school. I didn't want to be on crutches and a cast in high school. I, did, I wanted to just I just wanted to just break free, break out of this, and I wanted it to go away. I received a phone call from school, and when they called me up and informed me, they had some news to tell me. And we went to the principal's office, and they had said that Bernadette had contemplated suicide. Bernadette excelled at sports at a grade school level. As she got older and the disease progressed, you could see that it was affecting her. She had trophies in her room, and the trophies each year became less and less and less. And it was difficult and very hard as parents to see that, to see someone who loved something be taken away from her. Most um, frightening to me is he is starting to put his foot in and fall. And he falls very, very for nothing. You know, we, he was waiting for the bus the other day, and the kids ran out. They were late as usual. And I remember thinking, don't run, don't run. And as he was starting to run, he immediately just fell in front of the kids. And, you know, and everybody on the bus starts laughing because it's just the way it is. And he, you, you see his head just go down a little further. CMT often leads to limb deformity. The most common deformity that occurs with CMT is in the lower extremity. The calf muscles waste away and become very thin and spindly. The foot becomes twisted and gnarled and the toe is drawn up. Because of the muscle imbalance that develops 
in the foot with this disease. As a person grows, the arch actually becomes hyperflexed. And people end up walking on their heel and just the front of their toes, which as you can imagine would be very painful. CMT is the leading inherited neuropathy. However, CMT can occur through a spontaneous genetic mutation. And the interesting thing was he wanted to really look at Michael's case and follow it because of the fact that it was a spontaneous mutation. And he, in fact, is the doctor that questioned the paternity because he thought it was so odd that, you know, most of his CMT patients, their one parent had the gene. When you pass on a disease like CMT, it's pretty devastating because you know what's in store for your children. In the beginning, I didn't realize how bad it could get. 